Okay, so we have our partition function going on. So far it doesn't do much. Pops nodes off the stack. If they can't be split, we check with our shit split node, which returns a Boolean. Um, so far we're only splitting horizontally. We're only trying to split horizontally. Um, and if it can't be split, we push it into partition floor. So now we're going to do our split attempt function, but also we're gonna to try to see if we should split horizontally or vertically. And by doing that, it's basically one or the other, and that's a coin flip. It's going to be a, a zero or a one. So we can simply return from coin flip here, a f math function call to rand range, and it's gonna be zero to one, and that's our coin flip function. So whenever we need to know whether we want a zero or a one, we're going to simply call coin flip. Okay, so uh, we're going to try to split based on the coin flip, right? So let's go to split attempt, here it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to split first based on the coin flip. So we're gonna say int 32, uh, let's say horizontal or vertical. And let's set it equal to coin Flip. We're going to split, we're going to flip a coin, zero or one. Now we're going to say if horizontal or vertical is equal to zero, we can try to split horizontally, else that means it'd be a one, uh, we'll say, uh, we'll split vertically. So we'll say first try to split horizontally and down here, try to split vertically. And uh, what I'd like to do is, if we're trying to split horizontally, we're gonna try, we're going, going to attempt it, but if that fails, then we try to split vertically. So basically, it, you know, either way we could split both ways. Like, if we, if we are trying to split horizontally and we fail, then we'll try to split vertically. If we're trying to split vertically and we fail, then we try to split horizontally. So here's how it's gonna look. We're gonna say if should split node, A, or in node rather, and E split orientation, and we're gonna try horizontally first. And if that's true, then we can split it horizontally. However, we'll have an else if here, should split node in node, and we're gonna try vertically. So at least there'll be a chance of splitting. So if we fail horizontally, at least that's just the preferred orientation. If we fail that, then we'll try vertically. If we fail that, we fail both of them, we know that split attempt definitely failed. So we're gonna try the same thing when we do the vertical. We're going to try to split vertically first. So I'm just gonna copy this if here, should split node vertical, and then we'll do an else if. So we'll say else, and we'll try horizontal. So that's basically what we're, you know, we're gonna say try to split vertically, and, and then here we'll try to split vertically, and then try to split horizontally. We'll try to split horizontally down there. So really, you know, we're trying both. If one fails, we try the other, but the coin flip determines which one we try first, and so as, if, as long as it's splittable in both directions, you will get the choice from the coin flip. Okay, so we're gonna replace the partition code. Um, so we're gonna go back to partition and we're going to say um, instead here of if should split node, we don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is I, I wanna create a Boolean called B node was split. And I'm gonna set it equal to split attempt A. Because remember, split attempt is what's going to, um, it's going to uh, see if we should split it. We're gonna call should split node in split attempt. So we don't need to call it up here. So in, in here we're saying split attempt A, and this will return true if we should split it. So what we can do is say if 
B node was split. And we can actually check to see if the node was not split. If B node was not split, then we can just simply push into partitioned floor. So we don't really need any of this stuff here. This if else, we don't need that. All we need is to see if the node was split. So we split attempt. Split attempt should take care of splitting. We haven't added that code yet, but once we do, it will split it. Otherwise, if split attempt returns false, then we'll know that it was not split. And if that's the case, we can simply check if it's not split, then we can push it into partition floor. So that's it. That's what the partition function will do. Now we simply need to fill out split attempt. We need to finish it because if should split node is true, then we need to actually do some splitting. And what are we going to do if uh, should split node is true? We're going to simply call uh, split horizontal in the case of horizontal or split vertical in the case of vertical. So in the next video, we're going to uh, define split horizontal and split vertical, these two functions here. We're going to call those in split attempt, and that should uh, give us the functionality for being able to split these nodes. So stay tuned. In the next video, we'll, we'll flesh out split horizontal and split vertical. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.